بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل لرن میتھ وتھ سید علی ٹوڈے وی ول بی کنٹینیوئنگ اور ٹاپک اینگل پراپرٹیز ان پیرل لائنس وی نو دیٹ پیرل لائنس آر دا لائنس وچ نیور میٹ وتھ ایچ ادر اینڈ دیئر ڈسٹینس از آلویز کانسٹینٹ رائٹ دیز آر دا پیرل لائنس سو وین وی ہیو پیرل لائنس دیر آر سم اینگلس فارمڈ ان بٹوین دیم if any oblique line or transverse line cross that right if we have two parallel lines and an other traverse line or angular line oblique line right these are the three names you can say oblique line uh, another line crossing it right so it forms certain angles and these angles we are studying today in this lecture so what are those angles which are formed because of parallel lines and a transverse line so i draw two parallel lines and i have a transverse line or transversal right so now we see that there are angles right so these angles we we will learn today corresponding angles two angles that are in matching corners so we can see that there are too many angles formed right we are considering now which angle in the matching corner so matching corner means this will go with this right this is matching corner we can make this and this these are matching corners right so these matching corners are called corresponding angles what are corresponding angles two angles that are in matching corners so we can make several matching corners when two when one transverse line or transversal fall on a parallel line there are too many angles right and we will name them so we can name them uh, another form of the angle which is now we are calling interior angle right so how the interior angles are formed two angles that are inside the parallel lines so same two parallel lines now transversal line right and now we are seeing that interior angle will be inside right two angles that are inside the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal same side of the transversal so i am at the same side of the transversal right and and what same side of the transversal where the sum is 180 same side of the transversal where the sum is 180 so i can make them like this this one and this one this one same side of the so this one and this one right this one and this one same side of the transversal so this angle is equals to this angle and this angle equals to this angle they are same side of the transversal i can take other side also but they will be same two angles that are inside of the parallel lines so inside of the parallel line means this will not be included inside of the parallel lines this angle and then this angle inside of the parallel line right inside of the parallel lines so we are inside of the parallel lines alternate angles we will see some more examples to understand the definition thoroughly alternate angles two angles that are either both inside or outside the parallel lines and opposite side of the transversal opposite side of the transversal so we will see let's say let's take a, an, another example to check it so this is my parallel lines and line falls on it right so now we have to see that what is a n this is angle a this is angle b right this is angle c this is angle d to el to eliminate the ambiguity what i define a and b are corresponding angle a and b are corresponding angle two angles that are in the matching corners so a and b what are a and b a and b right in the matching corner these angles are corresponding angle correct a and c alternate angle a and c alternate angles you can see here a and c i will write it for you a and c is alternate angles what is the definition 
alternate angle, right? What is the definition? Two equal angles that are either both inside or outside. Both inside or both outside. So I pick up A and C. They both are inside, right? They both are inside or outside the parallel lines and on the opposite side of the a transversal. So they are opposite side of the transversal. So I will write it here for you. For this A and B, A and B. What are A and B? Corresponding angle. Corresponding angle. So you can read the definition and you can see this example to understand. This is better uh, how to understand the definitions. And then A and C alternate angles. alternate angles right and C and D you can figure it out C and D are interior angles interior angles C and D are interior angles now we will see the definition and one more time we see how we define these angles so A and B A and B Read the definition, are corresponding angles. Two equal angles that are in the matching corners. So they are in the matching corners, right? They are corresponding angles, right? Then A and C, A and C, alternate angle, two angles that are either both inside or outside the parallel lines and on opposite side of the transversal, opposite side of the transversal, A and C. Now third one is C and D. So C and D, you can check C and D by definition are interior angles. C and D are interior angles with each other. C and D, two angles that are inside the parallel lines, inside the parallel lines, C and D are inside the parallel lines on the same side of the transversal where the sum is 180. So they are inside the parallel lines, inside the parallel line and same side of the transversal. So they are interior angle, right? So one of the question like uh, in this regards asked sometimes that um, uh, one guy, uh, there's a small picture on top. So this picture is written like and drawn like this in the exam and say this is unknown angles. And the one guy, let me draw it again. So this angle, so he want to know this angle, right? And one guy is saying, okay, I am going to on top of this ladder. So he put the ladder here, right? And he's saying that he's going on top to measure this angle, right? So his friend comes in and he asks, hey, Sam, what are you doing? He said, I, I have to go on top of this roof and measure this angle, right? So he said, no, 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 no don't go on the top um, to measure that angle. Why? He said, don't you know the properties of the angle of the parallel lines? Right? They say, well, what is that? You put the ladder and ladder is like an extension of this angle, right? So if you measure this angle, that is exactly same as that angle. So he said, really? Yes, of course. We heard, we, we learned that in our math class. Uh, don't you remember? So this angle I measure for you and this angle is 62 degree. So that angle is also 62 degree. So that is solve the question, right? So you don't have to go on top and measure that roof angle really because by the parallel lines rule and the angles formed by the parallel lines and the transversal line um, we can <clears throat> equate angles and define angles so we learned today three angles uh, corresponding angles alternate angles interior angles let me take another example and to define these uh, uh, properties so now my parallel lines are this way maybe so anyways, right? And, and the transversal line is like this. Now I have to tell some angles which are formed here. So I will say PQ. This is P angle. This is Q angle. We are talking about R and S. This is R and this is S. Now we have to check what is relationship between P and S. P and S. So, 
I will answer it after writing all the three requirement or questions Q and S. In the meantime, a student can uh, check their answers and then they will, I will let you know that what is the correct fill in the blanks. P, uh, Q and S. Q and S and Q and R. So these are the three blanks for this particular parallel lines and then transverse line crossing these two parallel lines. You can say L1 and L2. Okay, P and S, right? P and S is corresponding angle. So I will fill it up corresponding angle. P and S and read the definition. P and S are corresponding angle. Q and S. Q and S, very good, alternate angle, alternate angle, Q and R, interior angle. So practice it at home and understand the definition, make some more drawings. Um, we will do some more practice um, on in the next video that how these angles are read. So these are three definitions in this class, corresponding angles, interior angles, and alternate angles. And we have to see the um, different diagrams and fill in the blanks that what is the relationship between different angles. So P and S is corresponding, Q and S is alternate, and Q and R is interior angle. So if you like the video, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button, like and share it. Thank you for watching.